Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a custom image for your Schoology courses. So for the purpose of this video, I am going to be using colors to signify different grade levels as if I teach different sections of a course to various grade levels. So this could come in handy. This technique could come in handy if you're an exploratory teacher. Um, but the technique that I'm using to create the image is the same for everybody no matter what. But um, in this case, I'm going to use colors to signify each grade level. So let's say kindergarten is green, uh, first grade is orange, second grade is blue, third grade, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to use the first grade example right now. Um, and I'm going to make the background of this image something orange. So I'm going to go right here to background. I am going to select choose an image. If this toolbar is not here, you can always right click and then go to change background. They both take you the same way. So we go to choose image and I'm going to go over to the Google image search and I'm going to search for orange. Oops. And I'm looking for something that can be an orange background. So this orange polka dot thing is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to select that. I'm going to select insert and I'm going to say done. So you notice it takes up the whole thing. Now what I want to do is I need to be able to signify so it's easy for the students and for myself to identify this class, the um, grade level as well as the homeroom teacher's name. If I'm the homeroom teacher and I just want to set it up by subject, you can follow these same directions and you could just name it math, reading, science, social studies, whatever you want. But we are going to insert word art. So I go to insert word art. And I am going to say that this is art. That's going to be my first one. So I hit enter. I can make it as big as I want. I want that to really stand out. So I'm going to change this fill color to be um, black. And then I'm going to do insert another word art because I want to have um, not only the subject, but I also want to have the teacher's name. Um, all right, so here I've got the teacher's name and I've got the um, subject. So I'm gonna change this fill color again um, to make sure that that really stands out. I can do it bold. I'm going to get it just as big because once this image is in, it's going to look a little smaller in school G. So you want to try and get it as big as possible. So I'm just using the corners to help me move it out. You're welcome to change the font as well, um, to whatever you want. If you want it to be like handwritten, this one looks pretty cool, so I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, this is called rock salt. Let me try, you know what, I'm gonna make this one really stand out. That's alpha slab one, I don't know if I like that one so much. Let me try Anton. Meh. Hmm. Impact, there we go. That one will really stand out, art. So I've got the teacher's name and I've got the subject. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to file and I want to download and you'll notice that it says current slide. So if you want to make multiple slides that have um, different teachers in there, you can keep working on this document, but I'm going to download a PNG file. So I download this and um, it's automatically going to have this. Let's say I want to do uh, first grade Johnson and notice where it's saving. You always want to remember that. So then you hit save and it's going to download. The next video will show you how to get it into Schoology. Thanks.